currently the owner of Olive and she actually started out with this store next door, the Mixing Bowl, which has all kinds of gadgets to fill your kitchen needs. Uh, and now she has all kinds of oils and vinegars to fill your kitchen cupboards. So have any of you been to an olive oil and tasting room before? Oh, okay, awesome. Uh, have you been to this one? Perfect, perfect. So you guys know all about it, uh, at least some of it, but I'll give you some history that you might not know already. Um, did any of you see the 60 Minutes episode that was released last year about fraud in olive oil recently? Yes. Modern days with the mafia. Um, so fraud with olive oil actually dates back to biblical times because it's been used as a currency for so long. And so anything that's been used as a currency, of course, people are going to try and get their way, uh, get their money's worth out of it, so to speak. And today it can be so hard to find a true olive oil uh, and hard to test for it as well. But the guy who produced that 60 Minutes episode last year also wrote a book called Extra Virginity in which he annotates six pages to finding Veronica Foods providers near you. That's not a chain or a franchise, but they have multiple locations all over the U.S., and this is one of them. Uh, they've got hundreds of locations, and they have the truest olive oil that you can find. Uh, they actually provide for the Olympics as well, for all the olive oil needs. So critically acclaimed and a high-quality olive oil. And each Veronica Foods location is a taste before you try, uh, taste before you buy, rather, <laughs> spot. And so that's what we'll be doing today. It's kind of like 31 flavors, Baskin Robbins. There's always about 31 flavors here at Olive Inn. And so we'll be tasting before you guys get the option to taste some of other ones, place orders if you'd like to. Um, what we'll do is I'll head you guys all the way to the back. You can set down all of your bags so that you have your hands free to hold a tray. I'll give each of you a tray. There's three pre-selected tastings of oils and balsamics for you to try. And I'll also give some of you guys bread. Uh, anyone who doesn't want bread, just let me know. The bread we serve you guys is a brew tea dough from Zeppeli Bakery, which is one of our restaurant partners. You guys have a coupon for them in your booklet. And uh, they have a critically acclaimed grilled cheese bar during the weekdays that I have to mention uh, over at Zeppelin. They've been going since 1993. Uh, the dough that we give you is a brew tea dough, which takes 24 hours to go from a dough to a finished product. And it's designed exactly for this type of tasting. Uh, it's able to suck up the oils and vinegars and add to the flavor without drying up your mouth. So hopefully you enjoy. We'll head inside for our next tasting take you through uh, the whole tasting of the oils and balsamics today. So um, we're going to start from going to uh, from right to left on your trays. Um, the green chili is a little bit spicy so do be careful when you're tasting that if you don't like spicy. I wouldn't recommend trying that one. But we do recommend that you um, smell them first. Tasting should not always start with smelling. It'll help wake up your taste buds a little bit. Um, we do also recommend that you taste directly from the cup, and after you've done that, you can dip your bread in it a little bit and then combine the two flavors that we have set up for you. So in the circle, you'll notice that there's um, three different columns. So uh, the ones that go really well together are the same ones that are um, labeled right there. It's the dark chocolate and the chili, the cranberry pear and the blood orange, and the Tuscan herb and the Sicilian lemon. Uh, balsamic vinegars, they all start out as a green grape. All of our balsamics come from Modena, Italy. Um, they are made in the traditional style over an open fire in copper kettles and then are aged using the Solera method. The white balsamics are aged for a minimum of six years and the dark balsamics are aged for a minimum of 12 years. Um, they darken and thicken as they age. And our traditional balsamic um, is aged 18 years. We're almost out of it. But if you guys want to try that after the tour is all over, you're totally welcome to try that. Um, they are very healthy as they are tasty. They have many benefits. Um, the balsamics have um, a oil, 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 oleocanthal uh, pyonutrient that is also an ibuprofen. So it's very good for pain relief, uh, blood glucose, stuff like that. A lot of diabetics use it because there's, it's very low calorie. There's no added sugar or preservatives or anything like that. Um, the Sicilian lemon uh, on the very left um, makes salads and dressings. The, it's very fresh and light, so it's very good for salads and dressings. Um, so when you add it to the Tuscan herb, it gives a really garlicky um, Italian herb taste. So it's really good for pasta, bread. Um, mm -hmm. it's in, they make a wonderful Italian dressing when you combine them. Um, the middle is the cranberry pear in the blood orange. The blood orange is a fused olive oil. 
So a fused olive oil means that when the oil is being made, the herb or the fruit or the vegetable or whatever flavor you're using is crushed with the oil. And then infused means that the flavor is added after the oil is made. So the Tuscan herb is an infused oil and the uh, blood orange and the green chili are both fused oils. Um, the last circle is the dark chocolate balsamic and the Bacati green chili. Those are very good together. Uh, the dark chocolate is great over ice cream, uh, fruit, French toast, pancakes, you name it, it's delicious. It's very good with desserts. Um, combined, they are really good uh, for salsa, guacamole, soups, mm -hmm. chili, and uh, actually in brownies and um, other desserts like that. Um, so all of our oils start out as a um, extra virgin olive oil. It's an EVOO. Um, this pure oil is pro uh, pressed out of all olives. Um, they are cold pressed, as many labels on the um, other so-called EVOOs uh, state. Although uh, nowadays most companies use centrifuge systems. Uh, to remove the oil quickly and purely instead of actually crushing the olives. Um, no solvents or processing is used in these uh, oils or balsamics. They all come from uh, Oakland, California. Uh, Veronica Foods is our vendor, and she's based out of Oakland, California. And um, it's an ultra premium uh, quality, which means that they go through sensory tastings and quality tests just to make sure that you know, you're getting every um, advantage and benefit out of the oil and balsamic. 